Mitch McConnell, the majority leader, had looked me in the eyes. He'd looked every other Republican senator in the eyes. And he had promised explicitly that he had not made a deal to reauthorize the Export-Import Bank. And I had asked him at the lunch, I said, Mitch, it looked like you made a deal. You're entitled to make a deal. That's, that's, that's part of politics, but we're entitled to ask you, what's the deal? And he looked, looked me in the eyes. He said, there is no deal. I promise you I've made no deal whatsoever. He said that publicly. And then one month later, it became abundantly apparent to everyone that there was a deal, that what he'd said to every one of us was flat out false. I, I was frankly stunned watching it because I had gone back to my office and, and my staff had argued with me at the time. They said, Mitch is lying to you. And I said, listen, I can't base my vote in the Senate on assuming he's lying. That's not right. And so I've got to take him on at his word. He looked me in the eyes and he made a promise in front of every Republican senator. And then he also made the promise publicly. Well, when it became apparent that, that sadly my staff was right, I stood up and gave a floor speech and I just described, here's what he promised. Here's his actions. They're directly cons uh, contrary. And the amazing thing is the, the old bulls in Washington reacted as if I had lit myself on fire. And it's, you know, it's sort of like the emperor has no clothes. Nobody reacts with any surprise, any astonishment that the majority leader lied to every Republican senator and the American people. That's not news. What is shocking, shocking, is that anyone would say out loud that he in fact lied. Here's what he said. Here's his conduct. It's directly contrary. And it's like getting mad at the person who's saying, the emperor has no clothes rather than telling the emperor, put some clothes on.